Hi there guys and a warm welcome back to HFV. We are about to experience a new country today. We are here in Enschede in the Netherlands for a top, top fixture. It's a round 19 fixture of Eredivisie, the Dutch first tier. The local club FC Twente are up against Feyenoord. Feyenoord are coming here as league leaders and Twente are the fourth six points behind them. Twente are on their way back to the top of Dutch football after having some really bad seasons, including relegation and near bankruptcy. They won Eredivisie in 2010. Feyenoord won Eredivisie on 15 occasions and they won the 1970 European Cup, the first ever Dutch team to win the European Cup, which is the predecessor of the Champions League. And they also have two UEFA Cup titles from 1974 and 2002. We are here at the venue of the game, the Rooschweste, known after a local beer brand. It's famous for its incredible atmosphere. See you there. We're now one and a half hours before kickoff. It's a well separated in fact because this is the area where the away fans enter. This is a memorial with two names on this column and the other one because uh, the roof of the stadium during the second expansion as you saw in the intro because it was expanded twice and the second one was in 2011 and the roof collapsed and two people died and this is the memorial for them. Are you a season ticket holder for Twente and if so, for how long? I've been a season ticket holder for the past two seasons, so this one and last season, but uh, two years before I went to most of the games, including the ones behind uh, closed doors, I used to stand uh, there. Who's your favourite player? Uh, I don't usually have favourite player, but because I've met him a few times, Michal Sadilek right now. Apart from your club, FC Twente, there are three other really big clubs in the Netherlands, PSV, Ajax and Feyenoord. Which one do you like the least? absolutely despise Ajax. I don't really like them and I don't really like their city. Feyenoord is on a similar level of uh, hate, especially from the ultras, but not as much as a problem as Ajax. PSV is not as much as a problem as either of those two. That's like not too big of uh, hatred, but there's still some because they're top three club. What's your score prediction for today? 8-0. Uh, 8-0 guys, interested about that one. This area, Fuck Bay, is where the Ultras are. We'll have a Korea today. We're going to be on the opposite side, so perfect view on it. The away supporters are actually up there, so we don't see them, but we'll certainly have the perfect view on the Correo of the home side.
pure guys, pure living up to the expectation. Tricky shot and cleared away. Right side offensive for Twente. What a save at the near post. Biggest chance of the match so far in the 25th minute. Two great skills across. The away side grabbed the lead after half an hour. It was a great play, like brilliantly played out. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the away fans celebrating because we don't have a view on them. But it was a really great play, which has to be appreciated. Twente have to do better in their defensive line. Twente can be caught on the counter now. Amazing challenge. This first half wasn't actually full of chances, but we saw two really big ones and that was enough to have a goal by now. As you saw on the table before the game, this is a real six-pointer. If Twente want to have any chance in the title race, they can't afford to drop nine points behind Feyenoord. And this is how it stands right now. They had some character, but not enough to create many big chances. They had one really big one, that was saved really well. Lost the ball at the halfway line actually various times and one of them led to that action which was played out by Feyenoord and which gave them the lead. Let's see whether the home team can make any amends in the second half.
equalizer by Twente in the 69th minute. The game needed this really, really much. Look at the whole atmosphere, how it really changed. In the matter of seconds, obviously, after this crucial equalizer. Great header to the far post. The psychology of the game can instantly switch in cases like this. It was great to see the home limbs. Exciting last 20 minutes. was just missed guys incredible 85th minute the game finishes here with 1-1 one, one between Twente and Feyenoord. The game was alright, could have been better, could have been worse. Feyenoord were wasting quite a bit of the time to be fair. I regret missing a viral moment in the game when Feyenoord keeper Bailo came out of his goal to clear the ball away and in order to stop Twente attacking the open goal, which he wanted to run back to, he just threw a second ball on the pitch. I just stopped the video. It was hilarious. Both teams could have won it towards the end. Feyenoord were somewhat superior in the second half. The atmosphere was alright, could have been a bit better. The 12-15 lunchtime kickoff certainly didn't help. Altogether, a great experience, I can't complain. And I also hope to visit more Eredivisie games in the future. I was invited and hosted here by a Twente supporter, a subscriber of mine. I want to say a big thank you for this possibility. Many clubs and destinations wouldn't have been possible at all without your invitations and accommodation offers. I'm actually developing this channel together with you guys. This wasn't the first Feyenoord game on the channel, actually. I visited one last year. Hit the link below to find out which one it was. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're up for more, join me on the channel-related social media accounts. Possibilities on screen. I was HFV. Join me next time as well. Goodbye.